Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be an organization video. I am going to be reorganizing my seven tiered rack. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that this is like my number one item that I highly recommend to have in your nail studio to display either your new items or your seasonal items or both. That's what I do. So when I get new items, I will put them in this rack. And when I want to switch out for seasonal items, I put them in this rack. The rack sits right on the side of my desk next to my clients and it really helps me to use products so I don't just shove them into my drawers and forget about them. And it also encourages clients because they sit down at the desk, they see all this stuff, they want to instantly gravitate towards it and pick out things and it encourages me to use them in that instance as well. So I'm going to be switching out all of my summer items for my fall items. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around, keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and let's get started. So first things first, I want to show you where I put my seven tiered rack. So that is the seven tiered rack. Ignore the mess, you guys. I am filming and doing a bunch of stuff today. So my client's chair is normally right here. They sit down, their rack is right there, and they instantly gravitate towards it. I'm fine with them touching it. They wash their hands when they come into my home so they can touch and pick things out. And it just really, really encourages um, me to use items, like I said, that I would normally maybe throw in a drawer and forget about. Um, and it also just gives them ideas because a lot of times clients come in, they're like, I don't have an idea. And maybe I don't have an idea either. And so we just go to the rack, we pick some items and we make a beautiful set of nails. So I'm going to set up the camera and I'm going to show you guys how I kind of go through and what are the type of things that I put into the rack. All right guys, so here is my seven tiered rack. So I got mine, I believe on Amazon and you can get several different layers. So you can get, I think the smallest they have is three, then you can get four, five, six, up to seven. If you are just starting out in the industry and you don't have a ton of glitter or a ton of nail art stuff, you could start out with a smaller rack or some people will just use a container and they'll just put a container on their desk if they're not quite ready to purchase a rack or they don't have a large enough desk. But if you have a large enough desk and you are planning to really make this a career and you're planning to do a lot of nails and lots of nail art and you're just starting out, I would still just go right ahead and purchase the big one because your nail art collection is going to grow and grow and grow. And the last thing you wanna do is to purchase a smaller one and then you wanna to have to purchase another one that's a little bit bigger and then purchase another one. If you just start off buying the biggest one, you can grow into it. So the first thing that I do is I go through all of my drawers with all of my nail art. I go through all of my gel polish that I have on my shelf and I pick out everything that I want to put in the rack. So I pick out, so right now I'm switching out from summer to fall. So I picked out all of my fall gel polishes. I went through all of my glitters. So I don't pick all gl the glitters that I have that are for fall because I have over 800 glitters. So I can't really pick out all the fall glitter glitters because they just won't all fit in here. But I just go through and I pick out some that I think that I would like. And if you have a long season, so for example, summer, you know, summer and spring were quite a long season uh, or summer, excuse me, was, you know, several months, right? So I could have switched these out halfway through as well and took some different summer glitters out and put them in there as well. So I didn't do that. I just left these ones in here because that just worked for me. So I picked out a bunch of glitters. I picked out some um, fall foils that I recently got from Glitter Mix Canada. I have those. I have some stamping plates that I also display in here. And then again, if there's something new that you get, so if I have all of my fall items in here and then say I purchased something new from eBay, Amazon, Glitter Mix Canada, wherever, and I want to use it, I will also put it in there, even if it's not necessarily fall related or whatever. If I think it's something that I want to use, I do not put it in the drawer because I forget if I put it in the drawer. When I started doing this, I legit found things in my drawers that I probably have had for 10, maybe more years. I don't know, 10 to 13 years, because I've been doing nails for 13 years, that I've never used because they got thrown in the drawer and I never, I've just forgot about them. 
So this is such an amazing way to display items. It looks amazing. This is probably my favorite setup because of the colors. I just love how it looks, but we'll see when I switch out to fall. I might love the fall one too. Um, and like I said, clients are just so, they just gravitate towards it. It's just so fun for them to look and be able to touch things. People like to touch things. And like I said, I'm fine with it. I know with COVID, you know, people are a little paranoid, but everybody washes their hands when they come in. So the first thing I need to do is take out anything, all of the things in here that I need to put away. And there might be some items, like I know there's a stamping plate in here, for example, or a couple of stamping plates that I know I want to keep out. Um, like this one here, I really like these sort of, I don't know what you call them. I call them single stroke drawings where you, like you draw an item and you don't lift the brush or the pen and you just kind of connect all the lines and then boom, voila, you have an image. <laughs> there's um, this one here in the corner I don't know if you can see it, but it's all faces. Um, there's also other ones like some leaves and flowers and there's some animals and there's another face here with some um, like leaf or greenery. I don't know. If, I'm so sorry, you guys. It's so hard to show these because of the, the glare right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little face. So I have one of those and I have another one like that as well. So I'm just going to leave those ones out. Ooh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, here. Is this it? No this one here. So this one is again, another one with a bunch of faces on it. So I'm going to keep that out because I feel like for fall, that's still like a cool thing to do. Um, let me see. I do love this marbling one and I, I thought I would use it more. So I think I might put this away and, and then pull it out for Halloween. So I originally was thinking of doing a fall slash Halloween one, but I think I'm going to do two separate ones. So I'll keep the fall one in all of September. Um, and then maybe the beginning of October and then I'll switch out for Halloween. The minutes people want to start getting Halloween nails, which is about three weeks before Halloween. Um, I will switch it out for the Halloween stuff. Then that will stay in there. And then in November, I will put winter stuff. And then around Christmas, I'll put, or maybe in November, I'll put winter and Christmas. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But that's just sort of how I plan it out. Um, I also have these ones and again, they're new and I've never used them. They're like old script lettering and I have two of those. So I'm going to leave those out because I have not used them. I had a couple of clients who specifically asked me to, if I had, you know, old script lettering and I didn't, I said, I'll order some. And then when I ordered them, they didn't um, want it anymore. I just have a weird piece of hair here. Um, and this one as well is kind of cool. It's not really fall, but it's just kind of unique. And it's, I feel like you can use it all year. So I'm going to leave that one out as well. And then the rest of them. Oh, this one even has a shamrock. I have to remember this. This is um, Nicole Diary 033. There's a little shamrock in the corner. I'll have to remember that for St. Patrick's Day because I tend to, you know, forget. Because <laughs> I am a forgetful gal. Um, oh yeah. Okay. And this one is a scrolling one. Again, this will be very good. People love scrolling, um, for fall. That'll be nice. And then this was a greenery one. So I'm going to put that away. And I just have my little put away, put away bowl here that I'm going to throw everything into for the time being. And then I will put everything back where it belongs. Um, so I have to get rid of all of these colors because these are not, none of these would be for fall at all. Um, although I might leave a teal because you know, what's been really popular. Um, I've had a few ladies come in this week and I actually have a little jar of custom mixed color that I kept. Um, if you can see, oh, you can't see it on the top shelf. I've got four little jars of custom mixed colors. So one of them is called a junk jar. And basically when I custom mix a color, if I have a little bit left over, I throw it in there and all four of those are actually fall colors. So I might pull those down if I have room and put them in here. But one of them is a super dark teal. And this week, just this week alone, I had three ladies come in and say, do you have a really, really dark teal? Now I don't actually have one, but I'd obviously custom mix that one and it has some shimmer in it. I don't even know what I used to make that one because it's from like two years ago or a year ago. But because of that, I am going to keep one of these teals out because I could add some navy to it. I could add some black to it and make like a dark teal. So I'm going to leave one of the teals out. I'll just put it over on the side with the rest of the ones that are going in here. And then, like I said, the rest of them, I will just pull and shove them in this bowl. This bowl is not like the best for 
putting in flat things because it's rounded on the edges, but it'll work. It will work. So these will all go back onto my wall shelf. And then I have some floral, um, what is it called? Uh, foils, sorry, from Glitter Mix Canada, these really nice floral foils. Um, and I don't really think there's anything for fall in here. Well, there is one like that's got like orange and stuff. But I recently got these new ones from them. And they're supposed to be more f fall. But you know what I think I might do? Because some of them that are in here, I think, honestly, are more spring. So maybe what I'll do is take out a couple of the ones that I feel like are more springy. And I will take the, like, orange. So, yeah, like, this one here I feel is, like, super springy. This one here, it's, like, pansies or something. And I will take this one which is like it's got oh, it's hard to show you guys <laughs> it's got like oranges and whatever like um, sunflowers and stuff like that so that can be more for fall i'll put that in here and i'll just have to remember that i did that <laughs> so when it comes time to put my spring floral box in here for next year I have all the correct foils in there. And is there another one that I feel? No, that's more spring. What is this one? This yellow one. Uh, I feel like a lot of clients like sunflowers. And I don't know if those are really fall or not. But I'm going to pull one out. I'll take out... I will take out which one out of here? Ah, you know what? If they ask me for it, I know where it is, right? I think, yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm changing my mind. <laughs> I'm changing my mind. I am going to put back the foils where they belong because I don't really want to mix them up because then I won't know which one belonged in which kit to show you guys. So I'm just going to put this one in there and I'm going to put the spring one away. And I will just remember, right? I know that there's more floral foils in my drawer so, and if I have room, maybe I'll just leave this one out. So now I'm going to look at the decals that I currently have in here. And I have some, oh, I have some for some dec decals, guys. <laughs> I have some decals or decals as my American friends like to call them. I have this one here from Glitter Mix Canada and there's some little like leaves and fall florals. So I'll keep that out. Watermelons, no. You guys, I have these cats and I've never used them and I keep leaving them out in hopes that someone's gonna wanna put a cat on their nail and it's never happened. I'm just gonna put them away. I also have these florals that I feel are kind of more fall tones, right? They're kind of like a dusty peachy. So I'm gonna leave those out as well. Um, I have this like these greenery decals, butterflies, um, probably don't need those. Oh, I have some of those like monarch butterfly things that I need to pull out as well. So I've got to look in the drawer for those, those little paper ones. Those are really cute for fall. Um, these could go away. These can go away. These can go away. These can go away. So the rest can go away. And you'll notice that I use these clips these big clips here. That's what I use to keep my decals together, my bagged glitter together. It just really helps to just keep it more organized and stuff's not just all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna put those decals in there. So these ones I am keeping, these stamping plates, and all of these glitters will go. Yeah, they will all have to go away, which is really sad because I love all of these glitters so much, especially the cocktail collection of the flakes and the glitters from Glitter Mix Canada. You guys, I know that I'm kind of biased because I named the collection, but I'm obsessed with them. I'm going to be really sad to not use them. I was mentioning in an earlier video that I filmed last week how I'm like not really excited for fall. Like I love summer. I love the bright neon colors of nails and I just love summer in general, weather wise. I know lots of people like fall, but fall signifies that winter's coming for me. And I am just not about that life. I live in like the worst place for that because our winters really suck <laughs> and they're really long. 
So I was not put on earth in the right place. I can tell you that. But this is where I'd be. So I just figure it out as I go. All right. So I'm just getting all of these little glitter containers out of here. And oh, here's some little leaves and stuff. These little holographic kind of leaves. I'm going to leave those out. Those are from Glitter Mix Canada as well. So I'm just piling everything in here. And then I just get my canned air. And I always, oh, there's like a long hair here, you guys. Oy. I always leave my black and white in here because you're always reaching for black and white, I, I feel. Because, you know, if you need to lighten a color or darken a color, if you're custom mixing, ooh, um, those are just always good to have on hand. So then I just take my good old canned air, give it a good blow job. Out of here and we'll start filling this baby up so I'm just going to move this whee, this put away bowl I'm gonna start with my gel polishes because those go at the top this is a put away and I usually try to do them in color um, I'm not going to list off all the colors that I'm going to put in here because it really doesn't matter you're gonna put whatever fall colors you have in yours I've got quite a few actually, so I think what we'll do is maybe start with brown. So I've just got a brown one, and I'm going to make it look pretty, of course, throughout the use. The names do not stay on the front. It's, I'm not that serious about it, but when I first start out, I like to make it look pretty. Um, okay, so what color is, oh, I've got this like sparkly brown one. Okay, I'll do that. And they're kind of dusty from being on my shelf. And then, you know what, I've got these other two like mauve kind of sparkly. Let's do those ones maybe. And then, well, that one's like a red. So maybe we'll leave that one. And I'll do the like, oh, there's like a nude. Okay, another like peachier kind of nude. And then we're going into like the taupey nude. And like a mauve. I love mauve, you guys. Love mauve. I tried to order, okay, so I went on Madame Glam's website because Ginger Sparks told me about one that I needed. Um, when I custom, so when I did one of my mixing videos, I think it was the one for July. The, the mixing video where I mix all of whatever colors, I think I mixed all the neon colors, it created this like beautiful, blushy, dusty, rosy color. And I was like saying, I was giving a shout out to Ginger from um, Gels and Gems, asking her if she knows of a Madame Glam color like that because it was so nice. And she said vintage pink. And I'm pretty sure when I went on to order it, it's out of stock. I can't remember now if I actually got to order it. Something was out of stock. And I haven't got my order yet, so I hope it wasn't out of stock because it was a beautiful freaking color and I would love to use it for fall. So I'm just going to put, oh, this one's more gray. I should have put like the gray maybe up there also. Okay, let me push these down here. I'm going to do, there's a gray, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, gosh. Okay gray and then I've got this other like taupey color hmm well maybe I'll just put that one right there okay we'll do that and then I'll go into the darker like purpley colors let's see here all of the like plums and then more into the reds perhaps a little bit of red and a red and for some reason it's so weird because sometimes the bottles don't all fit like this in the top like for the summer ones it was really tight so it's almost like some of the bottles might be just a slight bit bigger or something it's really really weird I don't know if that's just I don't know because these ones all fit perfectly but the all the summer ones it was like really tight one of them didn't fit very well okay so let's do oranges oranges yellows and then let's go into the greens 
green, teal, and blue. All right, so I'm gonna turn them all facing forward. I'm gonna also give these a little dusting. They were on my shelf. Living the dusty life. All right, so that's quite a few colors. I usually don't have that many, but I guess I have a lot of fall colors. So now I gotta try to make sure I can fit all the rest of the stuff in there. So there's a, a little bit of a trick too when you um, are stacking things in here. So you don't want to put something in front of this that's going to, so you still wanna be able to see the colors, right? I wouldn't put something like that, right? Because then you can't, you can't see what's behind it. So you do kind of have to have, you know, a little bit of strategy when doing stuff like that. So I am going to grab my decals. So I have several new decals from Glitter Mix Canada that I have not even um, shown you guys yet, but there's some fall ones, leaves. There's one with like bumblebees or a bumblebee. This one really cute. These are one of my all time favorites from Glitter Mix Canada. I think they're sold out now but they're like a holographic um, copper leaf with black, so nice. They have another one too. I think they have two different kinds. Super, super, super nice. So I'm gonna stick those and then um, the ones that I took out from the last, uh, from the summer stuff, I'm gonna also shove those in there. And generally what I like to do also is, you know, once in a while, I will switch them out. So if this one's on the front this week, maybe next week, I'll put that one on the front, right? So that clients see it and they're like, oh, what's that? So again, a little trick for you guys. And I'll put this one just in the middle. So I'll clamp those and they should fit pretty good. If they don't fit perfectly, I might have to cut this one because it's a little bit long or just I'll take it right out of the package because it's just a little bit long. This um, package that it came in. Let's just get these out of here because I know I will use them. Oh, and actually I already have some that are cut up here um, from last year that I, I cut into a smaller piece so that I could put them into my little decal book. So maybe what I'll do, you know what? I think what I'll do, oh, whatever. I'll just put them all on here. It's fine. I just want to see if there's like a backing. No, there isn't really a backing to it, is there? Because it's kind of hard to see what they look like. Well, I'm just going to shove these in at the back because I know they're there. I know these are my favorite. I will pull them out. I want to put something else that's on the that's more something that I wouldn't maybe gravitate to reach to normally on the front. There we go. So those fit much better. And then I'll take my stamping plates and if I don't have room after I put all my glitter, I will put the stamping plates here as well, which kind of covers them up. But sometimes I just have too many things. So I've pulled out tons of fall stamping plates. I've got a plaid one, a bunch of different ones with leaves. I actually pulled out this one here um, from um, Nicole Diary 004. It's a dream catcher one, but I thought like all those little wreaths would be cute. Like this one, especially in the corner here. That would be cute. Um, what else do I have here? Let me just see, sorry. Yeah, I've just got, well, the, the plaid one is Nicole Diary 019. I've got that. And I've got some small, well, I've got this big one from, actually Talia had sent this to me last year and I never got to use it. It's still in the packaging. It is a fall one from Clear Jelly Stamper. It is called, does it, do they have names on them? I don't know if they have a name. Does it have a name? I'm trying to see. Um, it just says CJS LC-1, or sorry, LC-57. So it, I don't know if that's the name of it or what, because I don't see a name. Must just be LC-57, LC-57. But it's cute, it's got like a little truck. I'll show you the images on the back. It's got a little pumpkin truck. Like those are super popular right now, those vintage trucks. So I'm kind of excited to use this. I don't have any clear jelly stamping polish and this is, I think only my second clear jelly stamper um, plate. The other one I have I think is Valentine's Day and I haven't used that yet either. I have another Nicole Diary. I figured the greenery on this, this stuff here, where is it? This stuff here is, is still really popular. So I figure I could use some of that. 
This one has some leaves on it, particularly this one. This is, um, I don't know where this one's from. It says TU-014. And this is a little Nicole Diary L uh, one as well with a bunch of little leaves. Super cute. So let's see how we can stack these because this one is a big sucker. So that'll be there. I'll do these here and then these in front. So, so far we can still see everything. And then with the glitter packets, I, I try to sort of group them um, so that I can stack them together. And I just need to show you these two glitters because they're brand new to me. Um, I just got them in a box today. I haven't even done the haul video yet because me and Talia are actually planning to do a haul video. I hope it works out. We have, we have said we're going to do it, but with my schedule and her schedule and everything, like it is in the books, but I just, I hope it works out because we haven't done it yet. But this one is called Fire from Glitter Make Canada. It looks super cool. It's like all different shapes and it's just like, I don't even know, so many different oranges. And then this orange is called Sunset Shimmer. Like, look at that. So I'm going to try to group them maybe in... Okay, so I also did a glitter mix haul for fall, a fall haul. And I want to put all of those ones together because they are part of like a collection. So leave me alone. Um, let me see here if I can separate them out. So I've got sunshine, leave me alone, screaming fall, lava lamp, dreaming of fall, which is one I'm really excited about. Look at that beauty. Spiced up. French Roast, Autumn Adventure, Fall Storm, Toffee Break, co cough, not coffee, Chocolate Fudge, and Hot Cocoa. So I want to see, I don't know if they might be too fat of, oh, they might be too fat of a stack to all fit in there. So I might have to separate them into two. Let's see if I can get them all in there. I don't think so. I think, well, let's see. I'm going to clamp them. I got to get a clamper off of one of my other glitter stacks. Oop, you guys. Okay, I said this in one of my other videos and none of you volunteered and I'm really, really disappointed. <laughs> Maybe because none of you guys who are watching live here. But I need someone to come. I am not even joking. I need to organize my glitter and I feel like I need help. It's just... I, it's just too much. It's overwhelming. And then I keep buying more glitter <laughs> and it gets even more overwhelming. And like I said in my other video, I will pro provide you with bevies. I will provide you with snacks. I will provide you with entertainment. I will be as funny and entertaining as possible, <laughs> but I just need somebody's help to come help me organize my glitter because this is just out of hand people. Yeah. So that's not going to fit. So I'm going to have to separate them. So I'm just going to separate them in half and stick them together like so. There's one and I need another clippy. All right. All right. All right. All right. I've got so many glitters, you guys. This is crazy, but that's one of the things my clients love about coming here. All right, so those fit up there nicely. I also got these dots from them that were also in that fall haul video, and they're kind of like a matte, I don't even know, pearlescent textured dot. So there's one called Purple Haze, Jaded, Moonlight, Dusty Gold, Vintage Purple, and Night Bloom. Super, super nice. So I'm gonna stick those together, again, because they are actually like, they're not a collection on their website, but they're all the same, right? They, they look like a collection. So I'm going to stick those together as well. Oh gosh, you guys, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for all my glitters. <laughs> and then I pulled out a bunch um, that I know from last year that I used. Um, so I've got this like champagne. Actually, this is more for Christmas. Should I leave it out? Ah, oh, I'll leave it out. So I've got champagne, I've got Merlot, which is like a blushy, I don't know, blushy, dark, what would you call it? I don't know. What would you call that? It's like a dusty rose, but it's darker. Um, copper, 
pumpkin spice. Wait a minute. Sunset shimmer. What was the other one called? Oh, I already. <laughs> I do this all the time. I already have sunset shimmer. So guess what? One of them is going to go into the giveaway box. <laughs> like, Hold up. Wait a minute. I know this sounds familiar. Did I not just say this one? All right. So I'm going to keep mine. I'll put the new one in the giveaway box. I've got a chameleon bronze green. This, is, this one's really cool for doing like a leaf, you know, kind of leaf-esque nail. I've got jade green, dark chocolate, gold brown, caramel, and walnut. And then, like I said, I've got that new fire one. So I'm going to put that one on top. Let's see. Maybe I'll be able to stick these ones in there all together. Let's hope because I'm running out of space already <laughs> with all these goodies. Okay, let's shove that on there. All right, glitter gods, make them fit, make them fit. I just kind of shake them down a little bit if they don't fit so that it kind of evens out the bag and <laughs> yes, it fits. All right, so now I've got all of these. <laughs> As you can see from my other glitter pots, I do try to do them in like a sort of organized way, I guess, color coordinated or like rainbow -y effect. So I'm just going to start with all of like the coppery ones. And you guys, these ones, none of them probably have names because if you've been following me for a while, you will know that when I first originally repotted all of my glitters, which was many moons ago, I did not take any stickers or write down any names <laughs> on the bottoms of the jars. So therefore, I don't know where I got 90% of my glitter because it's, I don't know, there's no names on them. So I am just, oh, look what this one has. Oh, is this? Hang on, I might have another double, people. Chameleon Green Bronze Hexagon. Is that this same chameleon one? <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure is. <laughs> you guys. Terrible. Just terrible. I swear. I am so bad. Chameleon bronze. Well, this one says green bronze hexagon, and this one says bronze green. But do they look... Well, they look kind of different, though. Hmm. It's hard to tell. Let me take this... Well, I don't really need to take the lid off. Let me open this and look at it because it kind of looks a little bit different. Maybe, let me just shake this one because all of the chunks are at the top. Maybe that's why it looks different to me. I don't want to, I don't even know, but I think it's the same. <laughs> so yeah, it says, Oh, one is from Glitter Boutique Canada, that's why, and one is from Glitter Mix Canada. So maybe they are different. Okay. <laughs> I was like, guys, I think I got another double, but I did not. So sorry. All right, let me clamp this group back together. Give them their little spanking and put them in there. All right. So this one is actually from Glitter Boutique Canada and it's green bronze hexagon and it's really cool. So I'm going to put that in there. You guys can see everything pretty good. I've got some like, I don't know, dots that are fall colors. Um, let me see what else. What do I want to put next? Maybe we'll do like kind of rose goldy tones and yeah, we'll do like sort of rose golds and pinks. Color. This is like a rose gold chunky business. Um, okay, okay. That one will just kind of sit on the top. Oh, I actually have a name on this one. Oh, on a couple of them. Let's see, people. Let's see. Uh, oh, another one. Champagne Kisses from Glitter Boutique Canada. Looks really, really nice. It's like a rose gold. Those are the, that's the only one. This one is also Glitter Boutique Canada. It's like a, it's called Pink Elegance. It's got like blush pink and more fuchsia pink and gold. Cool, cool. 
and this is from Glitter Mix Canada. This one is called Antique Rose, and it is like a blushy rose gold. I wish it would focus. There we go. Rose gold holographic. Yas. All right. Then I've got <clears throat> sort of some like reddish ones. Okay, I think I'm going to have to reconfigure this because this is not working. Oh, here's another one from Glitter Boutique Canada called Copper Rose. Cool beans. Put that here. Sort of, this one's more like a reddish, burgundy-ish. I don't know what it's from. This is another like fuchsia kind of one. Um... I have another um, chameleon one, but it's it's purple and teal. I don't know. I'll leave it out. It's purple silver hexagon from Glitter Boutique Canada. Put that there. I have a couple of matte ones. Glitter Mix Canada called Misty Rose. And uh, another one, Glitter Mix Canada, Platinum Blue. They're matte with like kind of like a nude um, navy. Yeah, they're very cool. Very, very, very cool. I have, this was one of my all time favorite, favorite mixes from uh, the pink chair. It is called Gold Digger. You guys, I, I, it's just, it is the most sparkly. I can't even show you how amazing it is. It just doesn't do justice in the camera. It is like iridescent, holographic, gold. I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it because it's just gorgeous. All right, so I've got those, and then I pulled out some teals because, you guys, I'm really liking, like, the teal and orange and teal and coppery kind of mix. Uh, I just did my September glitter mix of the month. I just picked the winner this morning, and it was, like, copper and teal, and it had some leaves. It was it's so nice. So I've got a teal holographic one. I've got this really dark green one. I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, what else? And then I'm moving into, like, the greens. So I've got these kind of weird, this one is like a shard. I don't know what color greens you would call those. Um, this is like a flake. The flakes are really cool because they give like, um, like a leaf effect, right? Like broken leaves. I have a copper one in here as well. I'm not even going to be able to get it out because everything's kind of squished. It's kind of hard to get them out once you got them in a little bit. This one here is like a copper one like that. Oh, there we go very cool so they kind of look like crushed up like broken leaves so they're really cool to inlay into product and then i have another green um a lighter green one like that as well and i don't know if i had a gold one i don't think so so i've got those and then i have this kind of like weird matte green i thought was cool so as you can see i have run out of room so i have to figure out what i'm gonna do what am i gonna do Somehow I have to figure out how to configure this better. So I might stick that there, that there, and I could potentially just put, or I just have to choose a couple to take out of here. So I probably don't need this red-ish one because that's not really fall. And this purple one can come out. I like having that fuchsia because I always like to have some kind of a pink. So do I have enough room for three? Let's see. I can do this, this, and that. Okay, so I have enough room there. And then I just have to get these ones in here. Ooh. Stick that in. Stick that in. And then there were those little monarch butterflies. I'm going to go grab them and come right back. Okay, guys. So I forgot that I actually repotted my little butterfly, um, those little paper things. You know what I'm talking about? Here, let's see if it'll focus. They're like little paper embellishments. Um, where are those other ones? They're kind of like these as well. I need to put these ones in here. Um, so I don't know if I want to take out the monarch butterfly one. Let's see. So here's the monarch butterfly. I know it's going to be hard to see, but they're like little monarch butterflies. I could potentially take that one out, but there's also like some blue ones that are kind of like, that would be cute for fall. See these? Mm -hmm. And then there's these like burgundy ones. They're not like, they don't have like actual like designs on them. They're just like as if they stamp them out of, oof, gosh, I don't even know. And these ones. Could also be for fall. So, 
do I take them out and put them in here or do I just leave them in here and hopefully remember <laughs> that I have them? I don't know what to do. I do know I have to put these in one of this, one of these little containers in here. So I'm going to do that while I'm thinking. I do love these containers um, for rhinestones and, and little embellishments. I absolutely love them for that. I have, I don't even know. I don't even know how many I have. I probably have like 12 now in my drawer and they're just so nice because they're so tiny. They fit so well. So I'm just going to put these ones. Come on, get off of there in here and move over these. So I don't know guys, I think I might, I don't really have room for them in here. Like, yeah, I don't really have room for them. So I think I'm going to just leave them in here. I will just have to try to remember that I have them. And again, at some point, if I'm like, oh, you know, I, it's been a few weeks. I haven't used them. I want to use them. I could take something out of here. Like I could take the foils out because the foils, whatever, or the, some of the decals or something like that. And I could put these in. But for now, I'm going to leave these in my drawer. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That is exactly how I do it. That's the process. It's really not a difficult process if you're organized and you get all of your stuff that you want to put in, if you already get that all pulled out. Now I just have to go through and put all of the old stuff away. That's the most annoying part, <laughs> it's putting stuff away. But other than that, it looks pretty darn good. I'm not gonna lie, I still think that I loved the summer one the best because I just loved the neon colors, but does that not look so nice? Imagine if you went to go get your nails done and you sat down and right next to you was this. It's like, oh, oh and another thing. So I have some of the new Beamy Fall um, leaf gels. I recently filmed a video on that as well. And I have them swatched on here with all of my other leaf gels. So I also have, you can see on the side here, a couple of hooks. So when I get new colors, if they're not gonna fit in here, um, I just put the swatch stick on the side. So then I can also say to a client like, oh, I have these new, you know, beamy fall colors. They're right here. Where is it? Oh, oh yeah, here they are. You know, and I can just show them all of the new fall colors, right? Beautiful. These two are amazing, FYI. And I also have had blossom on my toes, which is amazing. So that's another thing that I would recommend is you have the space to hang a few um, hooks on the side. You could do it on both sides if you absolutely needed to. And you can display some of your newest colors in that way as well if you, you know, don't have enough room to put them actually in the shelf. But I think this looks pretty amazing. I'm very excited for my clients to come in next week and pick some new fall stuff. All right, guys, so let me know in the comment section if you have also started this seven tiered rack trend or just a display rack in general, or if you have just a little basket maybe that you have on the side of your desk that you put all of your goodies into. Let me know in the comment section if you have started implementing this and if you love it as much as I do. I absolutely love it. And I love switching them out. It's just so fun. I find sometimes, you know, we can get into a bit of a funk, right? In, in When we go through a season, you know, summer, it's like you're, maybe you get tired of doing neons or you know valentine's day you know february maybe you get tired of doing pink and you're just kind of feeling like by the end of the month you're like do 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 as soon as you do this like i'm excited i'm not i wasn't really excited to do fall nails but now i'm excited because there's like so many things that i see in there and i'm like oh i could put this together and this together and oh i forgot i have that oh my gosh i can't wait to use that you know i forgot so it really is something that I highly recommend. And again, if you use something like this, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope that you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you did, please share it with someone else. And as always, have an amazing day.